The strange monster is carefully searching inside the shrine. My breathing feels loud. I can't stop myself from heaving. I cover my mouth with my hands and hold my breath. All right, so this is the earliest save I've got. What what have we done already? I think we okay. So we need to get to the um, school, go to the library, and uh, read that old bookshelf to get the uh, clue about that tree that we couldn't pass. Right? Oh my god. Okay, okay. So that's what we need to do. We need to go to the school first. Oh shoot. Right, because we need to find out our address too. So we need to go to school, the staff room, and the library. Okay, hopefully we got enough time. We only like an hour and 15 minutes left. Contact list. Might be figured out where I live. Do it. Yes. And then we need to go to the library, and then we go back home. I don't know if I have enough time. If I don't, I'm screwed. I think I have to do the whole thing again? Oh no, I don't want that. Five minutes. Uh, okay. Okay, so the note does tell me about the comb. Maybe can I obtain the comb like right now? So I don't need to come back this way again? Shit, I have less than an hour. I don't know, man. This is really tight. I shouldn't have oversaved. Oh no. Inner shrine. Uh, pray. Oh, yes. Give me a comb, please. I put my hands together in front of the small shrine and pray for a comb. How is this going to happen? I hear a sound come from inner shrine. Enter. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Okay. There it is. I take the old comb. Okay. Old painting. There's no painting hanging on the wall. It's kind of creepy. Okay. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Okay. Leave, 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 leave. Okay, we are like 45 minutes to do what we need to do. Can we head back home? Um. Read Dash Journal? Do we need to read Dash Journal or can we just go straight to the tree trunk? I don't know, do we have to? Wait, we have to go back home because we found our address, right? I don't know, it feels like we have just enough time. Unless there's more to explore after the trunk, then we're screwed. Ah! Okay, what is he doing here? I can't even ignore him. Um, view is gonna take up time. Let's just whatever, talk to him or something. I approach the police officer and try to talk to him. He's muttering something to himself. I remember now. I went to that house after the teacher dialed in a report. Everyone was dead. It killed them all. It started walking towards the park. After, it tore my face apart. I tried to follow it, but couldn't get any further than here. I, I don't want to go to- <gasps> I see. So you survived. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay now. I don't need to go to the park, right? I, I don't- want to go to the park. Okay. I don't have no time for this. I'll read it.
Okay. I don't know. Do we even need this? We don't even take it with us. Um, there was only like money in there. Do we need that? I don't. We have one more left. Uh, okay. Let's just get out. All right, we're here. Um, anything different? Okay. Let's go gap in the wall. We have less than half an hour before it hits midnight. Can we get through this time? It's extremely dark inside the gap. Even the flashlight's beam gets swallowed up by the darkness. <gasps> the old comb begins to burn with a red flame, lighting the way ahead. I should be able to push ahead now. Nice, yes! Hello? This is the other side. <gasps> As I emerge from the darkness, the old comb burns up. There's no timer. <gasps> I'm not timed anymore? Did I make it through? Okay, fallen pillar. Oh my god. <gasps> it's right there. Oh my god, what's happening? A strange monster appears out beyond the big torty gate. There's no fight, right? I quickly hide in the shadows of the collapsed pillar. Inch monster. The way, the way back is blocked. Digital statue. What am I? What am I doing here? Wow. What am I doing here? It looks like the Jesus statues are part of the tree. took here is buried in Jesus statues. I can't go back. Oh, wait, what was that? Um, to the shadows of the twisted tree. I can see some twisted tree roots. I should be able to move around if I stay hidden in the shadows. I crouch down and move. Do I need to head this way? Why am I approaching? Oh my god! Ooh, that is... Vending machine... I'm trying to avoid him? It? I guess? The monster is wandering around as if it's looking for something. It's it, right? It's, it's looking for us! We're playing hide and seek, of course! Um... I can't... Where's the vending machine? I can't click on the vending machine. Oh! Oh my god! What are you? Can I go now? Yes. Um, do it. Oh my god, we're like right behind it. The grass around the vending machine is overgrown. It might be able to hide there. I should be able to get to the vending machine if I slip behind the monster. We're behind it, right? I hold my breath and get moving.
I make a beeline straight to the vending machine. Fortunately, it looks like that strange monster doesn't notice me. Uh-oh, it made a sound. For some reason, a can suddenly pops out of the vending machine. God damn it. Oh no, the strange monster is looking this way. It might head over to the source of the sound. Was this wrong choice? Did I screw up? Can of juice? Where can I go? Mountain pad. Oh, oh, this is the way forward. <gasps> Inner shrine. Do it. Boss shrine displayed here. I might be able to hide there. Does he move? <gasps> oh, it's moving! It's moving! There's a small shrine displayed here. I probably get inside. It's, it's, it's hurting me, I think. I hurry off. I'm hurt. Where's the... Where's the... It's right here. Uh-oh. Hello? I peek outside through the gap in the door. This will come straight for us. I know you're there. Uh oh Oh, this is the wrong space. Found you. God damn it. Maybe I should have head straight for the mountain path. Oh, god damn it. This starts me over. Okay, so... Okay, I'm glad there was no timer. But then that monster was like active the whole time. I think it moves by will. <laughs> Were we just too late to start moving to the shrine and if... And it saw us, or or was the shrine just the wrong choice? There was nothing in the shrine anyways. Oh, maybe we can toss this. Can we toss this somewhere else to distract it, you think? Actually, no, forget it. I'm not even gonna entertain that option. Move, go. I run further along the mountain path. Do it. Oh god damn it. So this is the wrong choice as well. I've been found by the monster. God damn it. So I think we do need to pick up that juice can. Right? There's no other option. There's no other option I can think of. Can we even pick this up? Maybe like toss it somewhere else so distracted? Just looking this way. I don't know. Can we pick this up? Hand for the mission is on the ground. Pick up. Oh, yes. Yeah. Look at us do this. What, what do we do with it? Can we toss it somewhere? It's moving. It's moving. It's moving. Where, where do I go? Um. Use. Throw a can of juice. Oh, I have to like. Where where did I throw it? Can I? Why did I throw it over there? It clanks in the direction I've thrown. Oh my god. I didn't know it's gonna... I didn't know you have to use it from the inventory. The sound grabs the attention of the strange monster. I thought it was contextual. Oh god damn it. Okay. So it's gonna move towards that way. And then I can probably hide in the shrine. Gotta hide in there now. And then once I pass the shrine again... I can maybe, um, get to the path, creep away. Is there anything in here? No. Please? It's right there. I'll peek outside through the gap in the door. It saw us last time because it was looking towards the vending machine and it saw us run towards the shrine, I guess. You don't see us, right? Are you there? The strange monster is looking this way. Has it caught on to where I am? 
It might come to search the shrine. It'll find me if it comes here. Um. Oof. Can I, can I pause? Use? Uh. What do I do? Is there something? Is there something that can be done? Can I hide in here? Yes. I might be able to hide inside it. Hide. I climb into the cover. Oh my god. Where are you? The strange monster is carefully searching inside the shrine. My breathing feels loud. I can't stop myself from heaving. I cover my mouth with my hands and hold my breath. I can't breathe properly. Please, go away. Go away, please. I can't breathe. This is it. No, please, just turn around and leave. Please! Why are you still looking? Not here. Yes! Oh my god. It's taking forever to turn around. <laughs> the monster leaves the shrine. Um. Okay. Uh. View? Where is it? Is it gone? Is it far enough? Okay, it's over there. The strange monster has returned to the torrid gate at the entrance. We can, we can leave now. Do it. Oh my God! Just go, dude. Go, go, go. Literally playing hide and seek right now. we make it? Oh, this is the beginning. I made my way through the grass and end up at the mountain path leading to the cave. I look towards the town and see that the road is flooded. The water level of the river must have risen. This mountain path might end up flooded too after some time. To the cave. Let's save. We're gonna right here? Yes. Let's go. Go inside. Is this it? We passed through. This is the portal, huh? The puddle? The pool of water. There's a small pond deep inside the cave. I can't see the bottom of it, but I'm guessing it's pretty deep. The cave begins to shake. With every passing second, the tremors become more and more violent. I suddenly hear a loud noise from outside the cave. It's not behind us, is it? Oh my god, what the hell are you doing here? Found you. Oh no. I'm rendered frozen by the blood curdling voice as it reverberates inside my head. Oh my god, do you need to run for it? Oh my god, this is oh this is pretty cool. <laughs> A black hole forms in the center of the water of the whirlpool spins about like a blender. It's unlikely I'll make it out in one piece if I go in there. What? This is the only way forward. Is it not? Get into the water, it's like we're getting hurt. I gather every last ounce of courage I have and dive into the whirlpool.
At least we escaped that, I think. The violent whirlpool swallows me up. I'm knocked about inside and eventually black out. I lift my head up slightly. Looks like a hospital. Looks like a hospital, dude. Okay. The sun has set outside the window. You can see the rooftop of the elementary school from here. A clean white bed. The sheets must fall into me. They make me feel uneasy. It looks like I'm in a hospital. Oh? Someone is knocking at the door. Oh my god. Not long after, a doctor appears at the foot of my bed. It's okay. You don't have to get up. You should rest as much as you can. You're safe here. By the way, do you know your name? The doctor looks me in the eye, asking me my name. My name is... My name is Kazuki. I begin to cry uncontrollably after saying my name. My childhood memories return when I come to this cave. I'll never forget that frightening experience. I was involved in an incident when I was young. I have some memories of the incident. It was all over the news and in the newspapers. I still have the articles of those incidents. Office worker, a teacher, and police officer have been murdered several days after a body of a boy was found inside an elementary school. Police are considering the possibility that these murders were carried out by the same individual. Suspect broke into the home of the office worker before killing him on the second floor while he was at home. Elementary school teachers who visited the officer worker's home was also murdered at the scene shortly afterwards. Police officer responded near the scene and fired shots at the suspect but was killed in the attack that followed. Suspect fled the scene and is still at large. Child of the office worker was found in a severe state of shock inside the second floor closet of their home. Numerous disappearances, including a missing girl, have occurred in Y City. Investigations as to whether the serial murders are connected to these disappearances are ongoing. Oh, I was found hiding in my closet on the night of the incident. I didn't have any physical injuries. I had to be hospitalized for a long time due to severe mental trauma. I'd often talk about how I got lost in a strange world. People would say I've been spirited away. Doctors tell me I have created this fictional world in an attempt to escape from reality and shoot myself from mental trauma. But the other side isn't a figment of my dreams or imagination. 
I'm sure it's another world that humans have yet to perceive. But there's one thing I do remember clearly. Although my dear friend has passed away, I was able to see him again in a phantasmagorical world. I was reunited with my friend in that hopeless town and reclaimed my name. That's one thing I know happened for sure. Looks like night has fallen. I should go home soon. Are we still... Still doing this? <laughs> Are we on the right side this time? We have a cat, right? We picked up the cat. We still have a cat, right? <laughs> Why do we have that cat? Do we still have it? Okay. I think we're on the correct side. Holy heck. Do we just go back? To his place? That will take me further away from home. I see. Yeah, we just go back to his place. Hello? The smell of someone making dinner. Somewhere is tickling my nose. The intense flood of nostalgia tugs on my heartstrings. Oh, we're taller too. I think we're taller too. <laughs> okay. How far apart is this? Ready or not? Am I hearing things? Is that a child's voice? Where? Where? side I'm finally home the scent of my home that I've grown accustomed to comforts me to no end everyone around me tells me that I should leave this house because of what happened in it but for some strange reason, I can't bring myself to leave. I never used to say, I'm home, whenever I return. 
because the silence that would follow those words was too painful for me to bear. But today, and today alone, I felt like it would be okay to say it. I'm home. I say in a small voice to an empty entrance hall. <gasps> oh, there's a cat! Oh my god! Oh my god! So that's... <laughs> oh my god, look at you! Oh my god. Oh, it's purring. Oh, I'm glad I picked up the cat. Oh, wow. There you go. All right, and there you go, Unsalt, Mo Yikai. This was really good, this was really good, I enjoyed it. Oh man, at the end there, we actually played hide and seek with that monster. And during the whole time, I was wondering, I remembered I picked up the cat. Where was the cat? And when it showed up at the end there, holy heck, that was a surprise. This game was good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Matane.